What do these all have in common? They're all plastic. Plastic. You're right, they're all plastic. In this New Brunswick classroom, the lesson is garbage. Trash talk is encouraged, and students are eager to answer questions. Raise your hand if you think you know why we do this program. Yep. To make, a world, to make the world a better place. Something for you guys down there. Jane Birchall is with the Gaia Project, a nonprofit that pushes young people to take action on environmental issues. The kids in this group are in grades three and four at Hampton Elementary. Before long, they're heading down the hall to the art room. And that's where things get really, well, dirty. So what I'm going to do is pour some garbage into your middle bin. Birchall and her staff dump the school's entire garbage collection from the day before. Yeah! This is disgusting! The kids separate the material into the appropriate bins for recycling and composting. I learned that helping the environment is important. Then they weigh it and record the data so they can track their own trash. Birchall says that's what makes the program unique. We are looking through their garbage that they themselves put in the waste system yesterday, so I think it really holds them accountable. I think that students get a lot more from actually digging into the garbage and putting their hands in it and seeing what's there than if I was to stand in the classroom and say, do a lesson and give them a test. After an exercise like this one, the Gaia Project follows up to see how schools are doing. So far they found a 50% reduction in overall waste in schools where students learn how to track their trash and brainstorm ideas for how they can do better. What you guys did today, you guys were all scientists. Their school already has a strong recycling program, but the students have found they still need to improve. So you can see almost 50% of what we found in the garbage was compost. There was also paper towel that could, that could have gone in the compost. Mm -hmm. Virtual says school is a starting point because it's where kids generate most of their garbage. But she says this is about more than one school in one town in one province. If they can learn how to recycle here, uh, we hope that they can also bring those lessons back home. And that, she says, is the key to creating global change. These kids have some pretty good ideas, too. Having a litterless lunch. How do you do that? Pack all your snacks and containers and water bottles. There we go. They say they'll work hard to reduce the amount of garbage they send to the dump. We are Trash Packers! Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Hampton, New Brunswick.